Hey guys, in this video we're going to show you how to set up MyGHL Cloud Access for your GHL device. For those that aren't familiar with this feature, MyGHL is a cloud-based service that allows you to access and control your GHL device from anywhere in the world. With MyGHL, you can connect to your device over any web browser that has an active internet connection. You can also access your device through the cloud by using the GHL Connect app. The steps we'll be covering in this video will apply to both the web browser based setup and MyGHL setup through the GHL Connect app. In order to get this feature set up, you should first make sure your GHL device is running on the latest firmware. For Profilux 4 and Matrix LX7 devices, this also includes updating the Wi Fi module firmware to the newest version. Although older firmware versions may be enough to get you set up, we recommend you update to the latest firmware so that you can benefit from the newest feature releases. Secondly, make sure your device is already connected to your home network. If you have not done that yet, please do so before continuing with this video. Lastly, you'll want to have your MyGHL account already created and ready to go. If you haven't done that yet, you can register for an account by clicking the MyGHL link we've placed in the description box below. Now to get started with the MyGHL setup, start by opening up the GHL Connect app or go to MyGHL.com on a web browser. If you're using a web browser, go ahead and log into your MyGHL account. From here, select Add Device. If you're on the app, you'll see multiple options. Go ahead and select Add a Device to MyGHL. On the web browser, you'll be brought directly to the Add Device screen. Here is where you must now enter the MyGHL ID number that belongs to your device. You can find this number by either connecting to your device with GHL Control Center or by connecting through the GHL Connect app. Those who are using GHL Control Center can find the MyGHL ID number by navigating to the Communication Settings page located under the System category. Those who are using the GHL Connect app can find it by navigating to the System Settings page. From here, make sure MyGHL is enabled. If it is not, select one of the two options here, then click Save Changes. Next, copy or write down the MyGHL ID number that is shown in your screen, and then enter it into the MyGHL ID field. Once that's done, click Next. You will now be asked to enter a security key. This security key will be automatically generated from the MyGHL servers. When you go back to the System or Communication Settings page, you will see that a security key has been generated for you. Copy or write down that key and enter it into the Security Key field in MyGHL. Lastly, give your MyGHL device connection a name then click Next. Your device has now been added to your MyGHL account. Once that's done, you'll be brought back to the My Devices page where you can now see your GHL device listed with a MyGHL Cloud icon. This connection will now be a dedicated cloud connection to your GHL device. Anytime you need to access your device, Simply open the GHL Connect app or go to MyGHL.com and you will see your cloud device listed as a device that you can connect to. To connect to your device, select the device that has the MyGHL icon and wait for the connection to be established. Once that's done, you can go ahead and navigate through your device settings. Thanks guys for watching this video. If you have any questions about this video or any GHL product, feel free to post on our GHL support forum or send us an email for one-on-one -on -one support. We've placed the links and contact info in the description box below. Until next time folks, take care.